The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use ultrasound to find landmarks prior to lumbar puncture. After viewing this video, you will have a chance to practice this in a hands-on session. Before you start, make sure your LP tray is ready to go, because once you find your interspinous space using ultrasound, you want to be able to start your LP right away. The first thing you should do is position the patient for an LP, whether in the sitting position or in a lateral decubitus position, whichever is more comfortable for you. Start with the linear probe, or the L38. You may find that in a more obese patient that you'll have to move the curvilinear probe if you can't see what you need to see. Now, identify Tufier's line. This is the horizontal line between the superior iliac crests. This will help you identify the spot where you should first place your probe to look for the spinous processes. Next, you are going to place the ultrasound probe along this Tufier's line in a transverse plane. In this orientation, you are going to keep the ultrasound probe marker to your left and to the patient's left. Now you need to find the spinous process and center it in the middle of the screen. This will appear as a hyperechoic rim with shadowing behind it. You may need to make some small adjustments up and down and side to side with the probe in order to get this image centered in the middle of the screen. Once you have found the spinous process and centered it in the middle of the ultrasound screen, then you are going to make two skin marks on the patient's back. You are going to place these marks right in the middle of the probe on either side. When the probe is removed from the patient's back, these two marks tell you where midline is. Now, place the ultrasound probe in the sagittal plane along midline, which is the mark that you just made. Identify the dorsal spinous processes of the superior and inferior vertebra. Now center the intervertebral space in the middle of the ultrasound screen. Once you have an appropriate image, you are now going to mark the skin on either side of the probe again, as you did before. Again, these marks should be right in the middle of the ultrasound probe on either side of the probe. When you remove the probe, these lines will now indicate where the intervertebral space is. Now when you remove the probe, your hash marks will form crosshairs. The middle of these crosshairs is where you should puncture the skin for your LP, as this corresponds to midline at the intervertebral space. You may find that your hash marks may be removed when you sterilize the patient's back. So before you actually apply betadine to the patient's back, use a pen or a needle cap to make a skin impression. Now you are ready to do your LP.